Hello everyone, this is Roland Jung again from ePlan Canada. Today I will talk again in this ePlan for Beginners about a very, very interesting solution that is actually on our cloud. It's called the ePlan eBuild. It's a configurator. Now, a lot of us do work uh, in a, uh, on, on systems that could be configured. So technically, how this works is very easy. Once you log on to our ePlan.com, obviously you have to sign in. You will see there are these small, um, in the dashboard, these topics you can address. There is the ePlan design, eBuild designer, eBuild free, and the eBuild project builder. The interesting thing about the ePlan eBuild project builder is that even if you do only access through here the cloud, you can actually come here and configure a specific request for a customer. So technically we have different configurators here. I'm gonna choose one here, for instance, and I'm gonna to go to the project. Now, of course, in this particular case here, uh, I could use one of these projects. Uh, I will basically do it actually with an ePlan to show you, but it can be done through the browser. It's really, really a nice feature to be able to do this through the browser. So let me show you how this looks like when you're in ePlan. So even easier in ePlan, of course here, let's switch over to ePlan. We have this project I will actually look at. This is the project that I'm actually curious to, to check out. It's an existing project. I'm going to focus here on just my schematic pages. As you can see, I have schematic pages three, five, six, seven, nine. There seem to be a few pages missing, of course, because I'm going to add these extra pages through the ePlan eBuild project builder. So this is a configurator that will allow me to actually select in a very high end dialog with very, very uh, lookalike options as what you have on your selling uh, features probably from your sales. As an example, if I want to have only a specific page, this is possible. I want the base page number four. Boom, you just generate it. And what's going to happen is it can simply add that page. Okay. Now, of course, I'm just calling it page four so you actually can see the reference. But this page just got added because of my selection here. I'm going to go deeper into the configuration on something else. We have the option of Boolean checkboxes. This is the kind of thing that most likely you did in the past with layers. You know, option A, no, option A, yes. And if you actually generate, a certain page will simply appear or not, right? So it's kind of something like that. Now, another one that I find a lot more interesting, and this is really where I love the configurator, is that within this interface here, you can actually work on different things. For instance, if I choose option type A, I will get a few more options down here. I have the possibility to put a couple of different variants. I choose the option C, and suddenly a couple of these things disappear because we have a certain dependency in this dialog here that actually works so you can have a series of questions similar to your sales um, configurator, and then all you do is you pick whatever you want, you adjust it, okay, and then you just hit the generate button. And this will affect eventually one, two, three, four different pages. In my case, this particular selection here affected page two and page eight. Now my project is complete. Of course, if I do, come back and the customer comes back and says, hey, I'm sorry, um, too expensive. I don't want the option A, I want the option C. No problem. Let's take a look very quickly before I generate. Here you can see we have two modules on the right hand side. I'll just hit the generate button. And in this configuration type C, which seems to be cheaper or more uh, adequate to what the customer wants, I have now the option here and you can see it's gone. It's gone. Why? Because in this option C, that second portion of the module is gone. Same thing if I would show you on page eight. This configurator brings you into a complete different world. Another thing that is interesting is if you ever talk to the customer and this is a certain standard, right? 
you can actually pick up that standard and you don't have to necessarily fill it back again. As an example here, I'm just gonna reopen the configurator. So right now the configuration is whatever, and I'm just gonna import a, a setting that I did obviously before. So somehow I managed to define a certain model, a certain client, a certain project, whatever. I saved it and bingo, this configuration is now imported. So even if you have like several different questions here, that gets imported right into your system and then you can just hit generate and that's it. So technically, the configuration does not have to be done exactly at the time of the creation. And once, of course, your project is created, nothing prevents you from going back into this project and doing anything that you do typically, you know, in Eglan. So here you can change a part number, you can change everything is there. Plus, what also is interesting here is remember in Eplan, when you have to update any kind of report, any bill of material, table of content, wireless, cable termination sheet, terminal diagram, you just run one single menu. And also interesting is everything that is now available here is available for your 3D layout. We are in one and the same project, one and the same system, one platform. So this is really interesting because you do not need to synchronize anything anywhere. It's just generated, the build material is there, it's ready. You want that build material very quickly into an Excel sheet, well, uh, nothing easier. All you have to do is generate the Excel sheet. You select your project, you uh, go here into the labeling scheme. I created one that actually exports my bill of material into a very, very nice and cute Excel sheet. It could be a simple Excel sheet. In this case here, it is actually a table. And you can see all the quantities are there. Eventually some part numbers, order numbers, descriptions, manufacturers, everything. I can now hand that over to my ERP system and they can process. Really, really cool. So the fact in the matter that you are in ePlan, the intelligence is there. So if you go back to your uh, 3D here, okay, uh, in the layout, you will now also see all the components that have been placed, not placed, added, not added. So this works the same way as we typically work on this side here. If you're interested in the components that have not yet been placed, remember a very nice feature is a filter, unplaced parts. And then bingo, you can see, oh, we have a few, all the fuses have not been placed yet, a few terminals eventually that have not been placed, and you just go and place them. So I hope you enjoyed this small e-build introduction. Uh, the, um, this e-build, uh, you can actually experiment it if you want here with this e-build free. These are free options, uh, free configurators that have been provided here by the system, by ePlan, so you can discover a little bit how these works. Um, just be aware that uh, eventually you need the right template uh, if you need some questions here about how to use a specific uh, library that you can find here. Please do not hesitate, call us up at the support and we'll help you and show you how this works. Roland from ePlan, have a good day. This was another one of these ePlan for beginners tricks talking about e-build. Thank you.